Hello, I'm in Boston at the world's largest conference for vein specialists, the UIP meeting. Earlier today, I gave a presentation to the conference and I'm going to share my slides with you now. Mr Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you at this meeting. Ambulatory phlebectomy is the treatment of choice for large superficial varicose veins. However, usually only the palpable portion, the portion you can feel, of the non saphenous tributary is extracted. And after phlebectomy, it's possible that large parts of the vein may be left in situ. These residual veins could theoretically be the source of recurrence. So, perhaps, combining phlebectomy and foam sclerotherapy in the same session to treat the same tributary might address this issue. However, it is also not clear if such a combination might lead to problems with the healing at the phlebectomy sites. Therefore, the aim of this study is to determine whether the foam sclerosant adversely affects the healing of the phlebectomy sites as judged by wound infection, clinical appearance and patient satisfaction. Patients presenting with C2 disease to an ambulatory vein clinic between the 1st of April 2010 and the 31st of March 2012 were studied. Saphenous vein reflux was treated by endovenous thermal ablation and then the non saphenous tributaries were treated by a combination of phlebectomy and foam sclerotherapy, the same uh, segment of the tributary. Patients were reviewed at 48 to 72 hours, 6 weeks, 6 months and 12 months for infection, hyperpigmentation, neotelangiectasia. Patient satisfaction questionnaires were completed at 12 months. A total of 379 legs were treated uh, by 2,826 phlebectomies. Eight patients were lost to follow-up. 290 patients were reviewed up until 12 months. No phlebectomy wound became infected and all were satisfactorily healed and closed at 72 hours. There were no cases of hypertrophic scarring, dyschromia or neotelangiectasia at the phlebectomy site. 42 patients had brown discoloration over the treated tributary which persisted to 6 months but at 12 months only 3 patients had pigmentation and the patient satisfaction questionnaires at 12 months showed that 288 patients were either very satisfied or completely satisfied with the appearance of their legs. At 12 months, one patient still had a prominent phlebectomy scar and one patient had persistent brown discoloration. Here you can see some clinical photographs uh, taken and in all cases the after photograph on the right side is six months after treatment. So in conclusion uh, Mr Chairman, foam sclerotherapy and phlebectomy can be performed simultaneously in the same non saphenous tributary without adversely affecting wound healing of the phlebectomy site or the final overall cosmetic result at 12 months. Thank you Mr Chairman and I'd like to thank the committee for the opportunity to speak to this meeting. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do please remember to click the button and that way you'll subscribe and be amongst the first to see my next video. Thank you for watching.